If a magnetic heading of 170 degrees is maintained and you are receiving this ADF indication, what will be the relative bearing to the station when you intercept the 090 magnetic bearing to the station? A 260 degrees, B 270 degrees, or C 280 degrees? This is a question about relative bearing indicators, or RBIs if you like to use acronyms to make yourself sound smart. The compass rows of the RBI does not automatically update with the aircraft heading. This can be done manually by rotating this knob, but ain't nobody got time for that. The needle is indicating a relative bearing of 315 degrees. That's 45 degrees less than 360, which is the zero reference used for the nose of the aircraft. That means that the NDB, yes, NDB, is 45 degrees to the left of the nose of the aircraft. On the map display, the NDB is located at the airfield here. You can see that the nose is pointing this way, and the angle between the nose and the location of the NDB is 45 degrees. The needle is basically just pointing at the station. As I've been blabbering on, I mean providing professional instruction, the needle has shifted and is now showing a relative bearing of 310. This puts the NDB 50 degrees left of the nose. This heading of 170 will not take us to the NDB. The beacon will be passing off the left wing, so we can expect this angle to keep increasing until we're abeam the NDB. We can work out the magnetic bearing to the station, or QDM as it's referred to in some parts of the world, by taking the magnetic heading and adding it to the relative bearing. The result is the magnetic bearing to the station. So for example now the needle is approaching a relative bearing of 300 degrees. We take the heading of 170 plus the 300 which is 470. The compass only goes up to 360 so if you minus 360 from the 470 this is our magnetic bearing to the station which is 110 degrees. If we visually transfer the information from the needle across to the direction indicator, we can see that this makes sense. And if we were to turn to 110 in a zero-win scenario, that would take us all the way to the NDB. Now we understand relative bearings, it should be relatively straightforward to predict the reading as we pass through the 090 bearing to the station. If we were flying directly southbound, or on a 180 heading, as we pass through the 090 bearing to the station, the NDB will be directly off the left wing, so 90 degrees to the left. With the nose as a 360 degree reference, the relative bearing would therefore be 270 degrees. We can back this up mathematically by arranging this calculation with a heading of 180 plus relative bearing that we don't know, equaling 090 degrees to the station. Therefore 090 minus 180 equals the relative bearing. This gives us minus 90, which would be 90 degrees to the left of 360. So adding 360 gives us 270 degrees relative bearing. But to make things a little more confusing, we're not going directly south. On a heading of 170 degrees, the nose is cocked <laughs> 10 degrees towards the beacon. This alters the relative bearing by 10 degrees. So now the magnetic bearing of 090 minus 170 plus the 360 is the relative bearing. This is 280. Here's a line showing the 090 bearing to the station. You can see that we are on the line. Let's take a look at the relative bearing, more or less 280. Here is the same example using the RMI needle on the G1000. The RMI combines the needle from the RBI to a display that updates with the heading of the aircraft. The bearing to the station can therefore be read directly from the head of the needle. So here we can see that the magnetic bearing to the station is 130 degrees moving towards 120 degrees as the NDB slowly passes off the left wing. This marker can be used as a reference for the left wing tip. We know that we're on the 090 bearing to the station when the head of the needle points to east. As you can see, we're on the line that I've set out on the map. The needle is pointing to 090 or east, which is 10 degrees in front of the left wing tip. So as you can see, having an RMI significantly reduces your workload and increases your situational awareness. So the answer to the question if a magnetic heading of 170 degrees is maintained and you're receiving this ADF indication, what will be the relative bearing to the station when you intercept the 090 degrees magnetic bearing to the station is C280 degrees.